Hi, everyone. Welcome to DTools Cloud After Dark. My name is Leanne, and I am a customer success manager here at DTools and your host for this evening. Welcome to our second DTools Cloud After Dark webinar. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you all for being DTools customers, and we really appreciate all the awesome feedback you've given us from our very first presentation. I hope you guys are relaxing with beverages in hand. I'm going to go over a brief PowerPoint of our agenda before we dive in. Okay, of course, introductions are in order. Again, my name is Leanne, and I'll be presenting today. Andre is also a customer success manager here at DTools, and our role is to help you guys successfully implement the software, execute training sessions, and coach you on best practices. Megan Campbell is your lovely DTools Cloud Account Manager, and she's here to help maximize your use of the software, grow your business, and add services. All right, so this evening we'll be focusing on post-sale activity, mainly scheduling. We're going to look at the main schedule and time entries across all projects, set up a project plan, assign a task to a field user, and complete that task. Then we're going to switch to our field user view, clock in and out of a project, update our checklists and install statuses as we complete a task in the field, and check out how to collaborate with other users using comments and our brand new chat feature. I'm also gonna sprinkle in my favorite tips and tricks and shortcuts during this presentation to help your team complete your projects faster and of course, more efficiently. All right. So first things first, I want to jump into our settings. So if you didn't know, here at the very bottom, we have a schedule tab. All right, and so here we have our company holidays. I'm just gonna add one here. And we don't work on Valentine's Day at Le Boss. One of my favorite holidays. All right, and we're gonna repeat this every year. So company holidays, and we also have working hours. We don't work on Saturdays and Sundays either. And I'm gonna save this. So you don't wanna book yourselves on the wrong days. And we also wanna make sure that our office is closed. All right, so now we'll jump out of settings and take a look at projects. So during my trainings, I always like to talk about our project stages. Um, it's really important to set up the appropriate project stages because you wanna be able to gain visibility throughout projects and keep everyone on the same page, right? So this ellipsis here, if you click on that, you can edit these project stages. I have my invoice deposit stage. We're gonna order our equipment. We're gonna make sure that our materials have been received. And then I have an in progress column too. And so this is gonna be rough in, trim, finish, programming, phases like that. And you can always break that out. And then I have my pending change orders field two or column two, because we wanna make sure that we stay on top of those change orders and get them accepted and signed, right? All right. So make sure to get with your team and talk through your post-sale activity and how you guys want to manage your projects. Cool, cool. So I'm going to take a step back to opportunities, and I'm going to win this opportunity here. So my bid was accepted or my proposal was accepted, and I'm going to mark it as one and manage my project in cloud. All right, so here's our project overview. And because we're focusing on scheduling, I do wanna point out that we sold this job at about 24 hours. And as your technicians or field users are gonna clock in and out at the job site, we're gonna deduct this from, or we're gonna deduct that time from the amount of time sold. So making sure that you're tracking your labor hours and um, selling it at the right amount is crucial. It's important when creating your opportunities and sharing those proposals. All right, and then we're gonna jump straight into our project plan. So this is your brain dump. What do you want to be done when and by whom? So creating tasks is super easy to do. Here are our task groups. Create a task here. It doesn't have to be by the phase. You can do it by location, system, category, um, whatever you want to do. But if you're doing the same steps for similar projects, here's another tip, create a task template really helps to save time. So I'm gonna apply one that I've created before. I'm doing the same 12 tasks for similar jobs or projects. 
and I'm going to drop them here in my project plan. I can move these tasks up and down. It's really easy on the eyes. And I can keep my tasks super simple or drill into them and add more information. So let's drill into my prep and mobilize task. All right, I'm going to assign my resource. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to assign myself. Here I can add a description. I've added a checklist here. Um, these are kind of like subtasks. And I can add items from my bill of materials specific to this job. We have some nice filters here. And instead of having to go through all 20 items, I'm just going to filter through my phase. So let's look for my trim items. And I'm going to select all three and add this to my task. All right, I'm done adding. I'm going to browse out to my project attachments and pull in my entryway. All right, I can also browse out to my project drawings. Let's add my plan view, my pretty plan view. All right, and I can add mention my teammates to do some collaborating here as well and leave comments. All right, so just to recap, we came in our overview tab, we came to plan, we did our brain dump and added our tasks, and we've assigned our tasks or assigned resources to these tasks. All right, so after assigning our resource, we now need to schedule the event. So I'm going to pick Thursday. We're going back in time, guys. So from 9 to, let's just say, 12. Today, I'm going to add that prep and mobilize task. All right, I can see that my resource has been brought over and I'm going to create this event. All right, now if I click on this event, I can also export this and add it to my own personal calendar. And I'll do that again to click on the event and this ellipsis here. All right, so we created our task, assigned a resource, and added it to our schedule. So now let's take a look at our field user view. So all Office users also have a field user view. If you hover over your icon in the bottom left-hand corner, click on this option here, switch to field user. And now we're here on our field user dashboard. And before we drill into this task, I do want to call out this new chat feature that I love. I've created a group for my installers. All right, you can add as many resources as you want and then type something to reach out or, you know, communicate to your team. So let's just say, hey, AZ, headed to Smyrna. Love that. All right, have a sales group here, project managers, and some one-on-ones too. All right, so here's my task, and here are this week's tasks, but I'm going to go ahead and clock into my project. All right, I can leave some notes here if I want to. Let's clock in, and let's drill into our task. I'm going to put it in progress, and all of the changes that I'm making here are happening in real time in the office user view. So everyone in the office knows what's going on while I'm out in the field. All right, so here's my description. I'm going to mark off my checklist, pick in little items, don't forget gloves and booties, and I'm going to update my install statuses. I'm going to put that picked, picked, and installed. All right, here are those attachments and my plan. And again, I can do some collaborating with my team. Almost through. Where are you at? And comment. And if I'm on my phone, tablet, I can also snap a picture, upload it here, and it's also going to upload to the same task in the office user view and the attachments field as well. 
All right. So comments in chat are really helpful to just clearly communicate with your team and just to ensure that the installations are completed according to plan. You don't want to miss anything and, you know, make errors. So use these tools. All right. So we work fast. We work really, really fast. I'm going to go ahead and mark this task as completed. All right. And I'm going to clock out of my project. We have some tabs here below. Here are all of my project hours. I can also manually add time entries if I forgot to clock in and clock out. Here are all of my tasks and my archived completed tasks. Here's my schedule nine to 12. And all of the projects that I'm associated to. So say I forgot where the conference room was, I can come into my project information. There's an ellipsis here. I can also download my installer report, but let's click on this here. Here's my contact, Bailey. I can ring out to her. I can also email her by clicking on this link. And if I forgot where the site is, once I click here, it's going to pop up in my Google Maps too. So some really nice features here. All right. So let's get back to our office user view. Click on my icon, switch back, and let's come back to projects. All right, so we ordered our materials, we received it, and now it's in progress. All right, I'm gonna come back into my plan. And I can see that my prep and mobilize task has been completed. Once I drill into this task, I can see that my checklist has been checked off. My statuses have been updated. And those comments that I left are also here under activities. You can comment back. And again, if I was in the field and I took images, those will be uploaded here under attachments. And you can also find all of these attachments here under this tab. All right, and then back to plan. I also wanna take a look at time tracking together. So these are my time entries for this specific project. And I can also export this to a CSV here. All right, and when I wanna look at some global things, so here on the projects tab, we have our main schedule. So this is gonna give me, um, this is gonna show me all of my projects. All right, and I can also filter by resource, all of my users, and of course, by the project. My favorite is by the hour in the day. Um, and then also under reports, we have time entries. And so here's where you can see the time entries across all projects. And of course you can export this data to a CSV for payroll options too. All right. And that pretty much wraps up project management or scheduling rather. Um, and as most of you know, our next big feature is service. We're so close and we're really excited to share it with you. Um, thank you guys and be sure to join us next month. Um, we're gonna talk about catalog and labor, which is huge. So don't forget to sign up for that. We'll be sending out a link, a registrant's link soon. Um, and thank you so much. We'll see you at the next one.